So far, we've covered setting up the audio mixer and monitoring in OBS Studio. But what can you do with OBS Studio to improve the way your audio sounds? The answer is audio filters. I'm Dwayne Burke, here to help make OBS Studio less scary and more fun. And welcome back to my tutorial course. If at any point you find this video helpful, consider dropping a like and subscribing to the channel with notifications on so you can find your way back for more information about OBS Studio and live streaming. The entire course is linked in the playlist in the video description. And if your question isn't answered in this video, please check there. To access audio filters, click the gear icon next to the audio source you want to apply the filter to and click filters. Under audio filters, click the plus. Here you have the available filters in OBS to choose from and customize. A compressor will help make the volume of a source more uniform and prevent peaking and clipping from yelling or other loud noises. An expander can be used to reduce the background noise, such as computer fans, mouse keyboard clicks, breathing, and unwanted mouth noises. An expander reduces the level of an audio signal by applying gain reduction, similar to a compressor, but below the threshold instead of above it. An expander can be used in place of a gate for noise reduction. They can produce a smoother open and close due to having an adjustable ratio, whereas a gate is fixed. Gain simply adds gain to the volume of your source. This should be used as a last resort. Try to raise volume levels on the device or in the Windows recording device options before using this option. Invert polarity is used to correct phase cancellation issues. A noise gate allows you to cut off all background noise while you are not talking. Select a closed threshold above the noise volume and an open threshold slightly below your voice input to get good results. The noise suppression filter can be used to remove mild background noise or white noise that may be in any of your audio sources. While this is generally not effective at large amounts of background noise, i.e. in a loud room, it can be quite effective at reducing things like PC fan noise or other environmental noises. Keep in mind that this can distort other sounds, like your voice. Lastly, you have VST plugins. VSTs are third-party plugins that can be used for more precise or higher quality audio processing. The next lesson is dedicated to exploring them further. The OBS team is constantly adding new features and filters, so in the future, there may be even more options. If you want to learn more about OBS Studio and how to use it, check out this video. And if you want to see the lessons from this course in action, come over to Twitch, give me a follow, and say hi in chat. Remember, streaming is supposed to be fun. I'll see you next time.